the sights, and the sounds of Africa can be accelerated and wild. But in rural Uganda, there is a most unexpected sound starting to build, and it is changing lives. The signs of poverty in Uganda are not difficult to spot, but harder to see is the concern for a generation of young people who see no future for themselves. Boys in our villages, who doesn't have like this organization or maybe playing football, they always only go in movies, cinema halls since morning up to evening. And it's like nothing they are doing. So they are wasting the time of their future. But change has come to a group of young people from an unlikely source. The band was started through this community organization there on the ground in Uganda. Their main mission is women's issues, craft training and microfinance and income generating projects. But they started this brass band for the youth of the community. And many of the youth tend to be children of the women in this organization. My first trip in Uganda, random meeting with the heads of this organization and it was so clear that it was something that I really could make a difference with, even just as a one freelance musician from Baltimore, that they just needed a little help, they needed a few more instruments, they needed a little instruction, and I, I knew that we could really take it to a much higher level. Amy Klosterman kind of laid the groundwork over there, so she said, you really need to come over and see what these guys are doing over here. Uh, they have a brass band. And of course, at first you think it's kind of crazy. I didn't know there were brass bands over there. And for me, as I got to thinking about it, it's not often you get the opportunity to do something you love, in this case, teach music and play music and make some kind of impact, uh, you know, halfway around the world. So I talked it over with my family and decided it was an experience that I couldn't pass up. So I went maybe three years ago during the summer and then the summer before that. The organization came into being about a year ago when Amy Klosterman, who'd been working with the band for several years, decided to put it on a more formal footing. And we thought a lot about the name and came up with the, the name Tuba. It seemed to be a nice direct way of uh, expressing what we were out there. And it's, it stands for the Uganda Baltimore Alliance. And the goal being to really form a link between young musicians in Baltimore and the band in Uganda. I was uh, very lucky to be able to go this summer with my 16-year-old daughter and this very overwhelming experience. We actually commented for the first week we felt like we were actually walking in a documentary film because it was, it was so different from anything we'd ever experienced. It was hard to actually believe we were really there. I think we were really overcome by the amazing people there on every level, the people running the organisations and their kindness and how they welcomed us and obviously particularly the band members who just have this amazing determination to do what they wanted to do. There's this really special group of kids there that are so hungry for knowledge and they'll just soak up whatever you give to them and it's really a teacher's dream having students like that that just are waiting on your every word for instruction. Sometimes we don't even consider just how fabulous it is for them to have this shiny brass instrument in their hands. That alone just looks so out of place in this rural village. And it's such a treasure to them. They really do whatever they can to take care of these instruments. The first thing that kind of hit me is the students are very thankful. They seem to like to pay you respect and uh, they just have this very warm and uh, open attitude. I'm always amazed when kids show up coming from school, coming from their house doing work, and they've never played a trombone or a trumpet, and they pick it up and they're willing to just start. You know, they're not intimidated by it. They're just ready there to learn. I've been in the band for four years, and I'm playing the trombone. I really like it. You know, there are different things that I've really gained from this. I've learned how to associate with my friends and with other people, of course. There is a way it really pleases my parents and my grandmother. <laughs> of 
course she's really happy that I'm in a band. She gives me a lot of time to practice and do a lot of things. Within these four years, I'm improving on my leadership skills. Most of the times you might find that you're having some problems, but since you're in music, you just leave the home, come to the band, play some music, then you forget the problems and you'll be happier than before. To that, really it has helped a lot. It's very important to make youth run away from criminals and gambling or just watching movies. But we don't have now time for that. We are now thinking about music, thinking about things that will help us in the future. It's like means a lot to us because we are doing something that is recognized. Even parents now are coming to appreciate our, what we are doing. It's like we are developing our talents, yeah, that we, we could even use in our future. So it's very important to us and I hope it means a lot to the boys around. One of our real goals as an organisation is to help them get to the stage where many of them see their futures in music and the potential for the band to really generate an income both individually for the band members but also to be able to feed back into the community is very, very real and very achievable for them. There's a lot of work. Uh, bands, brass bands in general, are very big in Uganda and uh, they're used at many, many different types of functions. And the fact that our band have expressed and done very well in learning to read music, their repertoire has expanded and they're going to be very marketable in this way. And I think the other big thing that they expressed to us, I mean, I was coming in really not having any idea of, of the background and there's so little for the boys to do. The unemployment, I think, is running at about 80% for their age group. And they genuinely were saying how they gained a real sense of self-worth and a sense that they believed now that they did have a future in a way they hadn't done before they'd been introduced to this. And that seemed a very important thing to be encouraging and to be supporting them through. Being in a band has really been so, so good for me. I have a talent, but there could be no way how my talent will be developed. If I had not met Amy, if she, she wasn't there for us to help us learn this instrument. I'm happy and promise that the band will go on as long as I'm still around. I guarantee anybody who spends time there will come back with a different perspective, with greater empathy and with a whole different view of what the word need really means. I think we have a lot of things that we say we need on this side, but really when you put it in perspective with what people have to do with all over the world, it's a great learning experience. Now, yes, because of Tori Stars, I feel that like I'm heading to my future and I'm no longer having so many miles to go. I just want to thank everybody who has put in much effort for us to be musical someone in this world. I would like to thank anyone who has tried in any way to support us. And for sure, from the day I joined the Tori Stars band, that must step ahead. Those people who are really helping us, they believe before seeing. And they believe we can make it. And we promise we shall make it. The lessons they've learned are more than notes on a page. Their accomplishments worthy of much more than applause. For this music has started this band on a path of great success. And we can't wait to hear what they do next.